All right. Here's what I want to talk to you guys about. This is a something that's a big one. It's one thing we all take for granted. We bulldoze it. The word specific. I always tell people, be specific with your choices. Be specific, specific, specific. When I see people doing monologues and shit, and I ask them, who are you talking to? And they say, or I say, do you know who you're talking to? And they go, yeah. And I go, give me a first name. And the reason why I say, give me a first name, and then they kind of pause, they go, uh, that means they might have had one or two people, but they weren't quite sure. And that forces you to pick that person. When you make a specific choice with your acting, not only it grounds you more, which is what it ultimately does, the reason why you picked that specific detail is because it makes sense to the choices that you're trying to feed. I will give you an example. You all know what cup of tea or coffee your parents drink. You know it. My dad drinks, used to drink a different morning drink from my mom. Coffee versus tea. I know exactly how my mom likes her tea. I don't drink tea. But I know when I see tea made exactly that way, it reminds me of her. By default. When I think of the coffee the way my, it reminds me of him. You go to a store to buy a gift. If I said to you right now, go buy a coffee cup for your mom or dad, you'd know exactly what type they're looking for. It's a gut feeling. That cup reminds you of that person. So when I say pick a cup for your character, know why you picked that specific cup versus the other one, which is neutral. A neutral cup does nothing to you. A cup that you feel a connection to is the better choice. Because you're going to get on a film set and everything on that film set will be neutral. You don't have a fucking zero connection to it. What's on your character's bedside table? That is one of the most private, intimate things you can create as an actor. It's not generic. There's a good chance that the set dresser made your bedside table. That's their job, art department, all that stuff. But you know if the character does this, that's yours truly. Or if the character folds them up nicely, puts them in the drawer alphabetically. You know if they read a book, specific which book. See, we don't think of that shit because in our mind, well, it's not in the script. So now I'm putting all the weight on the words. It matters how the bedside table of your character is set up specifically. You see people doing a messy thing on stage and it's a general mess. It's not general. Mess is very specific for a reason. You find your cups at the same place because that's your habit. So mess is very specific. Do you know what I'm saying? And the other difference is this. When you make a specific choice, that the refinement of those choices tend to feed the scenario you're trying to create. I'll give you an example. If you're playing, there's, a, there, there, there's an, an amazing acting teacher and she once talked to a young actress on stage who was playing a, a woman who was cheating on her husband. And the actress came, in, came on stage. And the woman asked her, how are you working for, the, uh, for cheating on your husband? And she goes, oh, you know, I'm thinking of my lover. No, no, no. And the teacher said, no, 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 that's bullshit. That's not specific, that's general. And she said, I don't wanna be rude. 
I want you to understand this choice. I don't want to be rude, but I want you to imagine the cum of your lover is dripping down your leg as you walk on stage and are talking to your husband. And everyone in class went, what the fuck? And she said, the reason why that's a great choice, it's so specific that it can only be done by a lover. Because your lover, you fucked him quickly around the corner or in a hotel room, quickly, didn't have time. Uh, you got dressed, you ran home, came out. If it was your husband, you're sleeping with him, you take care of all that shit at home, comfortably, you got time. That's an amazing, specific choice. And it only feeds that scenario. De Niro, when he works, he is so specific to the point that you go, ah, oh, fucking enough of this horse shit. Enough. How did he sit? Did he cross his legs or not? Was he wearing a t-shirt? Did he sit like this? Did he sit like this? Was he leaning forward? Was the jacket like this or like this? Was it closed? What type of, what type of jacket? Did it, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, it will drive you insane with questions. Because there's a reason why this character does it like this or like this or whatever the character does. It doesn't just happen. You are more specific in your life without thinking. You're going to go to bed tonight. You don't just flop in fucking bed the way you are. You literally pick your underwear every fucking day, specifically. Because if it's Saturday night, you wear a different fucking underwear than fucking Monday morning. Depends on what you're doing that night. We don't even think about it. We get on the tram. We know exactly where we're going to sit, exactly where we're not going to sit. You scan the fucking place. Everywhere you go, everything you do is very, very specific. Next time you're in a restaurant, watch how people eat. I've seen people clean their cutlery. I've seen one guy, still remember this, rinse out his mouth between every little meal. I'm not kidding you. I've seen people settle first. I've seen people touch everything with their fucking hands. See, we worry about lines. It's the first thing we do. And if it's not in the lines, then you don't do it. De Niro used to wear uh, silk underwear when he played Al Pacino. That's not in the fucking script. There's a reason why Al pa uh, not Al Pacino, uh, uh, okay. Al Capone wore fucking silk underwear. And if you find that reason, you go, that fucking makes sense. That's why he did it. It's not show and tell. He didn't walk around and look at my underwear. <laughs> The more specific your choice is, the more it will ground you. It's not general. It also helps with the believability of it. Otherwise, you succumb to daily, you know, if you're shooting one day and you're shooting the next day, then you're going by the flow or whatever you feel like that moment. It's not the same. My character takes his jacket off and puts it on a chair specifically. If he folded it nicely, his cords wouldn't look like this. The way he does that, he does everything else. It's the way he eats, it's the way he sits, it's the way he talks. And that's why we say be as specific as you can with your choices that feed the character and feed the situation. See, we bulldoze shit. Your character came in the door with a key. Did he pick up the mail or not? If it's afternoon and they're coming home, the mail's home. You check the fucking mail when you get home. We don't as actors. Why? Well, it's not in the script. If you're having an affair, you check the fucking mail. If you're behind on your bills, you check the mail. You don't open them, but you check it. If, you're trying to, if the character's trying to hide something from their spouse, they check the mail, specifically, looking for a specific piece of mail. They open the door. They know exactly. You all know where you put your keys. We don't think of that. We think of, where's the camera? Where's the action? I'll just fuck around with the lines. And we bulldoze everything else.
it makes all the difference in the world. I want you to know physically specific choices about the physicality of the character, specific choices about how the character does the action. That's why Stella Adler used to say, character is defined by the action. Specifically, what the personal items are of the character, specifically. It's the one tool that you should completely lose yourself in. Become super obsessed with it. It's never general, ever. And the more specific you are, the more refined your work will be, the more in line all your choices will be. It's the one tool that we bulldoze because we don't think it matters. And when you see amazing actors, that's the one thing that they've got down, specific choices. Either to trigger things or to the physicality of them. Everything else, do they go with a belt or not? Try these choices when you're walking around the supermarket. Walk without a belt on. Tie up your shoelaces, loosen them up. You'll feel completely different. You know, when we're in lockdown, we all put the fucking shit on, we thump around the house. We feel differently. Then we get dressed, put belts on, get everything, everything. There is nothing general in our work, nothing. And the more specific you are, the more your body and mind accepts it. And it will be, your work will be refined. There's no magic bullet here. It's refining your choices. Everything we do is super specific. And I want you to completely become, uh, Kazan used to call it business. I'll give you an example. If I pick up this pen and I see my daughter's fingerprints on it, it's all imaginary, but it will feed me. This isn't just a fucking pen anymore, is it? I made this choice a specific fingerprint of my daughter because her finger was there, that's how you should write. So this pen has a lot more value than this. Not real, this came from the art department. But if I put an imaginary specific choice, this just became heightened. And it will be there every time I look at this fucking pen as an actor. You make that choice for an obvious reason. These things don't just happen, we make them happen. We put little details in everything because it feeds you. And also, the more specific you make it, when shit's going on on a film set and people are running around, blah, 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 you focus on those little things right there. That draws me in. That keeps me centered. You got me? It's the one choice most people bulldoze. And directors don't have time for it either. What the fuck are they doing? What? What is that shit? Now, nah, motherfucker, do it. It's your work. Don't tell them about it. You got me? Watch, it'll change all your work, okay? And then make the right ones. Do your research also. Observe, we observe people. How they walk, how they talk, how they sit, everything. Do you know what I'm saying? It's what we call, when I meet a character, you, you feel a vibe. There is something specific about that person that gives you that vibe. You either, it's safe to walk down the alleyway, you go, no, forget it. There are specific things that trigger that and you have to know what they are as an actor. You got me? Become obsessed with that choice. Knock yourself out.